that's not the right hole. What is going on? I give up. I give up. I don't need to wear earrings today. I give up. I give up. I filmed it with one earring. It's fine. It's fine. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley. I am so glad you're here. I hope that wherever you are, you are doing well. You are staying sane. I hope that you're, you know, following all the guidelines and just relaxing a little bit in this time of stress. There's so much stress, not only for Americans, but also for people around the world. And I think it's a really important thing to remember to let yourself indulge a little bit in frivolous things. I know right now makeup and beauty and hair and lifestyle, a lot of the things that I talk about seem like they are frivolous and yes they are, but you know what? We cannot be all consumed 24 seven with any problem. You know, you deserve to just take a little bit of time, whether it's to watch a YouTube video or to play a board game or rewatch The Sopranos. I mean, just take a few moments a day if that's all you have I like to take like an hour and a half at night while my baby goes to bed just kind of decompress and let yourself indulge in the things that seem frivolous right now because you've got to take care of yourself not just physical health but also your mental health you need to just let go a little bit that's something that I struggle with that's why I'm saying it I think we all do sometimes but in this video we're just gonna have kind of a chit chat get ready with me I'm gonna talk randomly about things um, some things that are going on and then just makeup really so if you want to see that if you want to listen to me ramble then just keep watching and before we get into the video though if you would hit that subscribe button and ring the bell I would appreciate it Oh, so much. Also, head on over to Instagram. I have a giveaway going on over there right now, which is a fun distraction. Go ahead, go over there, enter it. Maybe you'll win some cool stuff. There's a Natasha Denona Love palette in there, some skincare from Tatcha, and some Fenty lip balms. Lip balms? Lip gloss balms, which by the way, are bomb. I just tried it for the first time last week, and I love these glosses. So head on over there and check that out, and yeah, let's get into the makeup now. Self-containing is not going as well as expected. I say as expected because I kind of thought that I would be a lot better at self-containing than I have been, but no, I'm, I'm not by any means an expert at it. I think I'm just like super weirdly nervous. I, I'm just really anxious and I don't think it's helped that I've watched the news so I've really tried to stop watching the news. Um, I never apply my primer just like straight on my face like this, but I just did so I probably will just not talk about everything that I'm putting on my face, but I will um, be sure to put Down at the bottom of the screen what I am using This is my normal primer combo, but I am gonna try a different one on Friday I am doing a full face of clean beauty first impressions that I'm excited about. I did research for it and everything, which is really exciting for me. I'm using this Tom Ford Shane Illuminate Soft Radiance Foundation. This is that ridiculous $150 foundation that I tried in my most recent full face of first impressions. I really love this foundation. It's kind of upsetting to me that I love it because $150 is nuts but it just like wore so beautifully and the longer I wore it it was like the more I liked it and I've worn it a couple times since I shot that video and I'm just like why do I love this so much granted I have self-containment goggles on or self-containment social distancing what well, self-quarantine I don't know there's so many different words it all boils down to the same thing. I have on the goggles that one has on when they are basically spending all their time in their house and not going to any places and not having any plans. I think that makes things look better sometimes than they actually are. The shade might be a touch dark for me because my self tan has worn off a little bit and I really need to redo it, but it's what we've got and 
I have nowhere to go. So no big deal. I'm also using a little bit more of this than I did last time. I don't know why. Again, I think I'm just kind of going a little bit batty from being in the house. I have tried to get out a little bit. We've gone on a couple walks. We go out on the patio. I've, I've tried. But I mean, I think what's weird is that it's not even to me that I haven't gone anywhere because there are plenty of days. I'm a stay at home mom. There are plenty of days that I don't go anywhere. The big thing I think is just being told not to go anywhere. I think that's the big thing that like just psychologically kind of is a difference. It's different than choosing to not go anywhere, um, which we're not, it's, we're not on, what's it called? Lockdown or the thing in San, San Francisco where you have to stay in the house. I can't even remember what they're calling it on the news, but we're not in that. So, I mean, really, if I wanted to go out, I could, but it's not advisable to, and really you shouldn't. Okay, I'm not loving this as much today as I had the last couple times, but I think part of that is one, I just put it on, and as I was saying, I really like this foundation the longer I wear it. And number two, my skin is just, I think from being inside so much, is getting a little dehydrated. So I definitely need to do like a good mask and a treatment tonight. All right, I'm gonna go in with this ridiculous concealer, this Giorgio Armani crazy, stupid, expensive concealer. The only reason I'm using it is because I paid for it. So, I mean, really, it it applies beautifully, but I mean, the price is, I think it's $40 for this tiny thing. And I mean, you get a brush that looks like, and you can't even, it's ridiculously tiny. Like I said, it does, it does, it does sit nicely. It sits on the under eye nicely, but you need so much of it. So like I'm having to go in twice like this because it doesn't. <laughs> I think it's for people who don't need any kind of, uh, I guess I just want like a light wash because to get any kind of lightening out of it, I have to double apply it so that it doesn't move my foundation, which is upsetting because it just, looks so pretty once it's done. I love it. I really do. But I, I mean, I'm having to use so much product. Now, granted, it may be possible. I hadn't considered this until just now. It may be possible that this is just appearing to be more product because that brush is so small. So it's really only applying a tiny bit of product at a time. So I may only be using just as much product as I normally do. But I don't know. I guess I just wanted it to be even more majestic than it is. I guess that's my issue. I'm gonna set this concealer just a touch with my normal setting powder. This is the Hourglass Vanishing something. Vanish, veil, veil, not vanish, veil. I don't know why I'm calling it vanish. Don't they have a line that's vanish maybe? Is that what I'm thinking of? Last week in my first impressions video, I tried to set my under eye with the Lancome Absolute Powder and it was honestly really, it was sad. It was really sad that that happened. I think I might just do some things out of my normal step. Like I'm gonna do contour now. I don't know if that's what I normally do. It's weird that I feel, I'm telling you, I just feel a little bit stir crazy, which again is odd because it's not abnormal for me to stay in my house. But I just feel weird being told that I have to. I think I just went way overboard with this contour. <laughs> oh, I know I did. But Luckily, this project is kind of um, a bit forgiving. I appreciate Charlotte Tilbury making products for those of us who sometimes are not paying attention and just put way too much on. <laughs> this side looks like a bruise. I'm just gonna like I cannot look at that like that, so I'm just gonna clean it up with powder. 
preemptively because I just, I cannot continue to live my life looking at the bruise that I literally drew on my face with this contour wand. It's depressing. <music> I can't complete a thought while I'm doing nose contour. I don't even know why I tried. I really, I don't even know why I started a thought knowing that I was contouring my nose with a product that was way too large to do so, but I did. So as I was trying to say before I got distracted by my artistry, <laughs> uh, I really have just been trying to kind of stay away from the nose a little bit today because I think that um, that's not been really helping me. So that's kind of my survival plan moving forward is maybe limit how much news I'm taking in and try to kind of switch things up. I love to cook, so I want to try a few new recipes. I've got a freezer full of shrimp and scallops and chicken, different meats that I can kind of play around with. So, you know, I can have a little bit of a variety for the family, which is, you know, something to be grateful for we're really lucky for me the difficult thing psychologically has just been that my family is farther away my parents and my grandparents live in my home state of north carolina being farther away from them just kind of feels like oh a little there's a little bit of anxiety to it that i know that i am relying on people in a different state to do the social distancing you know, do all these things that are being recommended to protect them. And that's, you know, when you think about it, we're really all relying on each other for that because I live in Delaware. My parents and grandparents don't live here, but the people whose parents and grandparents do live here are depending on me doing those things. So, you know, we're all interconnected and that's kind of a positive thing when I think about it. It makes me kind of feel sentimental <laughs> almost, but it is so, it's a little bit stressful because I just wish I was closer to my family right now. Where are we gonna go next? Let's do eyes. I'm gonna try these by Terry Ombre. I don't know, these are cream shadows. So I have two here. I have Frozen Quartz and Misty Rock. I bought these when I was pregnant and I don't think I've looked at them since. So there's that. Um, let's try Misty Rock. Let's just throw it on here, see what we're working with. On good days, I don't put eye primer on and I don't see why I would do it when I'm not gonna wear this makeup for probably more than 90 minutes, <laughs> if we're being completely honest. Uh, I'm just gonna throw this on and I'm gonna blend it. I'm gonna see if it blends out. This is like a random Amazon blending brush, so let's just see what happens. I bought a lot of like easy makeup products, products I thought would be you know easy to use for when I went into labor thinking I would want to do my makeup and then I promise you when I had my daughter it was the very last thing I thought of. I was just like um no I just want to rest now and be with my baby so I definitely did not put makeup on when I was in the hospital and we did um I literally was just talking about how I don't feel that I say um that much and I'm sure I've said it several times now so we had the 24 hour photos done first 24 I think they called them first 24 which I thought was weird because have you ever seen the first 48 it's definitely a crime show and when I heard first 24 I remember being like why would you name this that but maybe I'm the only crime weirdo. I mean, I'm definitely not the only one, but I guess other people don't think of it that way. This is actually really pretty and it blended out really nicely. I really like products that I can either put on with a finger or straight from the tube, which might not be super sanitary, but it's my eyes and no one else is using this, so it's okay. And then um, just blend out with a brush. And this one looked really well. And I don't really feel the need to put it in needle, needle. I don't really feel the need to put anything else on there on the top of my lid. I kind of like the way that it turned out. I think I might put a little bit of this on the bottom and I'll probably use a brush for that. I think I'm gonna take just like a smudgy brush, smudgy pencil brush and take some of the product off of the tip of this and blend it out on my lash line on the bottom. I just feel weird if I don't have anything on my bottom lash line which is weird because on my waterline, I almost always use like a cream or pink or a white. Well, not usually white, but 
off white maybe. I just always use a light eyeliner pencil on my waterline down there to open up my eye, but I always feel like I need something on the lower lash line if I have something on my lid. It just feels incomplete if I don't, so. That looks nice. Intuitively, I feel like I'm gonna go for my cheeks next. I'm gonna use this Kira Weiss blush. I really am starting to dig some of these clean makeup brands that I've tried. So I'm really excited to try a full face of clean makeup for Friday. I just feel like it's exciting because I can feel good about using the products, number one. Like I feel like, oh, I can give myself a pat on the back, I guess, which is, I mean, totally weird. But I also just have enjoyed the brands that I've found so far. I've tried this Cure Wise, I've tried Victoria Beckham Beauty, which was, I mean, oh my gosh, I was like, losing my mind over her brand in my last video because her packaging is gorgeous. The products are gorgeous. The philosophy is so well thought out. It's just, I, I just love things that are thoughtful, that obviously had a lot of thought put into them because it makes me feel better spending my money if I know like, oh, someone actually put thought into this and cares about what they're doing. Sometimes I don't, I mean, I think it's great to save a buck, but there's sometimes where I feel like I see a new release every week from certain brands and I'm like, okay, which is probably why those brands have lower price points, but still, it's just so nice sometimes to, when you can, treat yourself and pick something up that you know has a lot of care put into it. This is like gonna seem weird maybe um, that I'm doing this, but I always put my blush up here above my brow and I always throw some like on my nose and on my chin just because then I feel like it kind of brings that <laughs> sun touched. Isn't that funny? Because this blush is called sun touched. <laughs> it brings that sun touched look in my opinion. So that's where I throw my blush. Also, this is so nice. Like this is weighty metal. Like this is lovely. And then you just, you buy refills for these. It's such a Good idea. So my card ran out of space, but all you missed was I put on this Pillow Talk eyeliner. It's such a cool color. It's like a maroon brown kind of color. And I've never really seen a color exactly like that, which is why I picked it up. And although I already said earlier, I usually just go with like a cream or a light kind of color in my waterline. I decided why not switch it up since I have nowhere to go. And if it doesn't look great, it's not really a big deal, but I do like the way that it looks. It is pretty nice. I'm also going to use this combo that I used in my first impressions video last week for my brows. It's the Dior Show Brow Styler in the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. I'm not super talented at brows. I'm going to be honest with you. I just like them to be kind of filled in a bit and then I like them to fluff out as much as possible or fluff up as much as possible, I should say. I don't want them sticking out. And I really liked this pencil because it's got a nice fine tip. It fills in well and the color match is like really good. This is basically the exact color I would want. So I'm happy with that. I do have lash extensions and kind of the question I'm grappling with right now is if nothing changes, meaning if businesses are still allowed to stay open where I live, should I get my lashes filled in next week? And I know you may be thinking, well, no, just stay at home. It's only myself and the lash person, um, the lash, oh my God, lash person, what the? The lash technician, she's actually an esthetician. It's only me and my esthetician. And the reason that I am kind of like grappling with it is she's pregnant. So I don't want her to be not getting appointments and be in a bad spot financially. Although I understand that that's not my responsibility, but I just, I don't want that to be the case. And also I kind of feel like all of us need to get out of the house a little bit, which I know we can take walks and, you know, get some fresh air other ways. I'm just saying for me, I feel like there's all these judgment calls where it's like you have to make 
kind of these decisions based on new information right now, which is a different normal for all of us. And for me right now, that's the judgment call I'm making. I have not gone out for anything else. I do not plan to go out for anything else, but kind of for me, that's the thing of, okay, it's less than 10 people, which is what the CDC was saying now. It's a situation where she could wear a mask, I could wear a mask, like, and is that the right thing to do or, should I just say, no, I'm not gonna get my lashes done. And then if I'm really that worried about her financially, I can just Venmo her money for my appointment and be like, this is the money I would have given you for my lashes. Take it anyway, even though I'm not getting my lashes done. You know what I'm saying? Maybe that's the right route to go. I just, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna be sad to not have lash extensions if, you know, that's the way it goes. It's like, okay, no getting that done. I do my own nails so that I don't really have to worry about but I have heard a lot of people asking like oh should I go get my nails done? I need to stop doing that and it's just I think we are all kind of grappling with a new reality even though it seems I get that it seems kind of silly but you know these are decisions that are hard because it's just not the way of life that we're used to and so psychologically they do feel like kind of difficult decisions even though maybe they, they shouldn't be. Maybe they should be pretty straightforward. I'm gonna put on a touch of powder. I like barely use any powder. I just dip once and then kind of like press it in. I don't swirl because I don't want to move my makeup around number one and number two. Don't want to end up with too much powder because I think it makes your skin not look like skin anymore, which nobody wants that. Or maybe some people do. Who am I to say what people want? Who am I? All right, I'm gonna give you guys the gift of my mascara face. I do not put mascara on my top lashes, but on my bottom lashes, I use Lancome de Finicils because it is water-based, which means if it does get onto my lash extensions, it's not as big of a deal. I know some people have lash extensions and they still put mascara on, but that's not me. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit of this Lancome Absolute Powder in Peche, and I'm going to put I'm going to put, because I'm apparently Scottish now, uh, from Braveheart, directly from the movie Braveheart, I'm going to put just a touch on the places that I would normally highlight because I didn't actually highlight. And I did that purposely because I actually wanted to see if this could kind of work as a highlight because I'm not a big, um, super shiny highlight person. I just like, a nice radiant glow and while I feel like this is too much to set under eyes with it does appear to be pretty soft and like glowing from within when you put it on other places so I wanted to see will it work alone because so far I've only used it to set cream highlights on my face so I want to see will it work on its own and it looks like it will I'm getting the worst headache from this headband <laughs> I don't know how people wear headbands I get a headache Every time I wear a headband, it drives me nuts. This is a Bite lip pencil in number four. I don't even know what color this is. I think it's like a rose color. This lipstick is from Lawless. It's wedding day. I fell in love with this lipstick last week. Oh my gosh. That's really nice with that lip liner. I am in love. I'm trying to decide if I want to throw gloss on it or if I just want to leave it as is because I really also loved the Fenty gloss. I don't know. There were so many different products from my first impressions video last week that I have tried several times since and I'm just like, oh, this is a product I use every day now. Which is just crazy, but there were some good finds in there. I feel like I want to put a gloss on. Why not? Let's go all out. This gloss really is fantastic. Last but not least, we're going to set with my best friend, my ride or die, the Cover FX setting spray. I feel like this setting spray is just, it's the key. It just pulls everything together. It's like I'm trying to think of a good food analogy and I just can't come up with one. I'm like holding my fist like I'm Celine Dion. Is Celine Dion known for doing this or is that just some random thing I think that doesn't make any sense? What? 
All right, that is it for the makeup. I love the way that it turned out. I enjoy taking this time to just kind of relax do my makeup and I'm gonna be honest, I feel much better than I did when I started the video. So again, like I said at the beginning of the video, take some time for yourself today, whatever time you can find to do so, to just indulge a little bit. Just give yourself a little bit of care back because I know we're all stressed out and it's, a lot to process our way of life is very different right now but we're gonna get through this and we're all gonna get through it together never in history have we had so much technology that can keep us together even when we're not physically together so we're gonna get through this I really truly believe that from the bottom of my heart and we're gonna be stronger we're gonna be better for it we can do that together Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you haven't already, be sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you will know when I make new videos. And if you have any ideas for videos that you would like to see me make, please leave it below in the comments. I would love to know what you wanna see. I really have enjoyed filming and editing these videos. It's been therapeutic for me, especially right now in this stressful time. So I wanna keep doing that and I wanna make videos that you wanna see. So. Let me know down below. Also, head over to Instagram and enter my March giveaway. Thank you, as always, for spending some time with me. I really appreciate it, and I hope you take care. Bye.